<laughs> yes, indeed. Welcome to another episode of Uncut with your boy, the tech preacher, baby. Oh, yes. Man, listen, man, we're going to talk about something tonight, today, y'all. Uh, we're going to talk about hype. As we get closer to the end of the year, we get closer to Black Friday. A lot of people is like, hey, should I wait till I buy a new uh, you know, tech things or should I wait till Black Friday? Look, man, you know, Black Friday haven't been the same in years, right? Uh, and I know a lot of companies like to take advantage of the holiday season. Uh, look, the last couple of Black Fridays was was not spectacular. It was okay. Uh, but this Black Friday, you may see some, you know, some good tech deals and stuff like that. I know a lot of people write about now and say, you know what, let's wait until uh, we get all the, you know, the deals for Black Friday. A lot of people save their money every year for Black Friday because this, these are the deals. Because after Black Friday, you start to see a trend of a lot of tech items go back up. Uh, and then they'll try to squeeze in some deals between now and Christmas. Uh, after Black Friday, going into Christmas. But a lot of people buy their tech toys around Black Friday. And look, man, I've had uh, a few companies reached out uh, to... Uh, tell me about some of the Black Friday sales and stuff like that. And hey, listen, man, you can save, you know, 15%, 20% and stuff like that. That's better than playing, that, that's better than paying full retail almost to this tech gear. Now let's talk about it for a second. We always talk about, and I always make videos about deals, right? I always talk about, you know, hey, sometimes it's, it's okay not to follow hype. Sometimes when you buy product at release, sometimes you get, you know, <laughs> you get you get caught up in this hype and you spend too much money. I remember when we talked about like the think if, if I'm not mistaken, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, uh, maybe the Galaxy S22. Uh, we was like, hey, listen, don't buy it at release because if you don't get good trade-ins at release, just hold off a little bit, and we gonna see better deals down the road. Uh, we, we talked about that with like the Galaxy Z Fold 4, the, uh, the, the S23 Ultra. We, we talk about this with a lot of devices. Is that when you don't see good trade-ins at launch, we always talk about this. We talk about this on live streams. We talk about this on a lot of different uh, avenues. We tell people, hold off about two or three weeks a month and you're going to get better deals. And I, that, now that it, it comes to mind... This actually happened with the S23 Ultra. The deals was horrible, right? The trade-ins was horrible. And we was on live streams week after week after week encouraging people, listen, the deals are not that great. The deals go come later. And uh, a lot of impatient people, they say, well, I'm going to get it now because I, I got to have it. And, you know, they got it. They did trade-ins and they got horrible trade-in prices. And uh, not only a month later, Samsung came back and gave you better traded deals, hundreds of dollars or more in traded deals compared to at release. And we were like, wow, I mean, you could have saved at least 300, uh, 400 bucks more if you would have waited two to three weeks or uh, maybe four to a month, month and a half, you was able to get better deals. Um. Uh, so, you know, what we do here on this YouTube channel, what I do here and what the community of people that we have, whether that's going to be live streams or these podcasts, what we do is we out here for the consumer, right? We tell consumers, we tell tech enthusiasts, we, we encourage them to say, hey, listen, man, don't follow hype. Sometimes hype, you spend too much money following the hype. If you wait, if you hold off for a month, uh, three weeks or four weeks, you get better deals. Samsung did that this year. And, uh, you know, even with the upcoming Black Friday, you know, think about it. Apple just did a, a keynote address. They're they releasing all their backs and stuff like that. Apple's really not good on, you know, giving you deals. But for Black Friday, you might get 5% off, 10% off. Hell, 5 or 10% off on a $1,500 MacBook is, I mean, listen, at least that's sales tax, right? At least that's a little money off. Uh, and I always encourage people, and I'm going to continue to encourage people 
to hold off, you know, and tell better deals. Now, I understand people follow hype. I understand people that have YouTube channels, right? People got YouTube channels. They got to buy into the narrative. They have to buy the product. They have to get the product fast in order to drop videos. Me, I used to do that a long time ago, right? I used to, you know, follow that hype, man. I got to get the latest and greatest. I got to buy this and buy this quickly. Have you noticed in the past six to eight months that the whole narrative of the way I do things now have changed? Right? I don't be rushing out to go get products and services. Look, I remember I got my Galaxy S23 Ultra while a month, maybe a month and a half after release. And uh, man, because I didn't follow hype, right? I didn't follow hype. Um, and so I look at it like this. I do understand, you know, getting product early for YouTube content creators that equals views and that gets your channel hyped up and stuff like that. Listen, man, I've been on this platform for seven years, man. I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't phantom myself continuing to do that hype train. The people that follow me, the people that follow my YouTube channel, they understand how I roll and they know that I'm not going to be the first and I won't be the last. But I get it in between something, and I'm going to give you the best coverage that I can. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Listen, man, I'm going to tell you, man. I used to do things like, you know, contact companies or get with vendors or get with my contacts and try to get product as early as I can. Listen, man, that, that it was fun back then, but it's very difficult to, to film, to try to get this this product out to try to get these videos out to try to do this i mean listen it's very difficult to do so i find myself frustrated i find myself overworking myself i find myself not having fun when i'm trying to get products so fast and so early paying for overnight shipping paying premium prices paying for this and pay and all of a sudden you i notice that this is not fun anymore man this ain't fun anymore. So I came to the conclusion that I'm not going to be the first at nothing. Some things I passed on and I'm not going to be the last at nothing. I'm going to be right in, in the middle for the consumer. I'm going to be right there for the consumer. Whether or not I'm going to do my research, looking at my fellow content creators, making their videos, talking to them and, 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 and basing a lot of decisions based off of people that I trust. Sometimes, listen, man, you know, a lot of people say, well, you can't, you can't judge anything without putting your hands on it. And listen, I don't judge anything uh, without putting my hands on it. And some of the things, hey, listen, man, I feel that when you have, like myself, I got 230 plus phones, right? 230 plus phones. I, 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 after using so many phones, after using so many tablets, you know, I have so many iPads. I got Galaxy tabs. I didn't I didn't purchase all this stuff and use them over and over and over. Then what I found in that when the newer product come out, sometimes the older product get better. And I always talk about this, right? I always talk about how things get better with time. Following hype, you don't get excited over it once you get it in hand. And the reason why is because People, you know, you get these hype videos, you get these, oh, everybody's so hyped up about this, hyped up about that. But once you get that product in your hand, you find yourself like, eh, it's meh, it's meh, right? It's meh. And you think to yourself, man, I could have kept my old product and uh, just enjoyed it. This is good and better as the new product. i give you a prime example. Look, I, I, I've been preaching this for a while. I, I say this, that the, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, that was better than a lot of iPhones, right? I talk about this, right? The, the iPhone 13 Pro Max had better, uh, um, as far as battery life and, you know, iOS is iOS. But when the 14 came out, a lot of people was like, man, the 13 was better than the 14. And I passed on the 14 because I felt that, hey, listen, after I watched a couple of my trusted, you know, YouTube channels and they all like, hey, it's, you don't see no big difference. You got the dynamic alley, whoop-de-doo. Uh, the cameras was not that 
uh, different and stuff like that, you find yourself that let's hold on to the 13 Pro Max for a while. And then when the 15 came out, got the 15. I didn't get one personally. I got, you know, uh, you know, for, for the Oracle and the daughter. And what I found, even when I used the 15 Pro Max and then go back to the 13, if you take away the dynamic island and you put the notch back, you open up apps side by side, they open up. The battery life is, you know, hey, man, right? It's about the same. And you just find that this is you not getting a different experience coming from a two-year-old phone to the latest and greatest. And this is why my daily drivers is three-year-old phones. Think about this, right? And this has been the, the trend for me. One of my favorite phones, and it ain't, listen, it, it's, it's LG V60. It's, listen, I'm team LG. Everybody knows that it's LG V60. Why? Why do I con continuously preach and talk about a device that company is gone, no more software updates, only on security patches, uh, 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 the Snapdragon 865 uh, processor is old. Let me tell you why. Because devices like that got better over time. It aged like fine wine. And you think about it, the newer devices, things have been taken away, right? I mean, in order for you to have plug in wired headphones, you have to buy an adapter. You don't get the quad DAC unless you get a certain part, part to make it a quad DAC. It's inconvenience. Think about it. The older devices came with, you know, power brick. Now, listen, they got some newer devices like OnePlus and, you know, uh, Motorola. And those devices come with power bricks and stuff like that. But your more popular, trendy devices, your Samsung, your Apple, uh, your Google, uh, even Sony have got on the bandwagon with no power bricks in the box. And, you know, you feel like it's a slap in the face. And I know people all get me in it. Well, how many power bricks do you got? You got 230 phones. That means you got at least 200 power bricks floating around your studio. That's not the point. The point is that they're taking away instead of giving you more. A lot of people like, well, you upgrade because of the cameras and because of the, the, the speed and the functionality. And you think they say, okay. When you say speed, phones have been fast for a very long time. Mine is benchmark test. Phones have been fast for a very long time. So let's scratch that off. Let's scratch off performance because, listen, I, I pull out my Realme GT, one of my fastest phones that I have in my arsenal. I pull out the, uh, the OnePlus 7 Pro, one of my fastest phones in my arsenal. I pull out the LG V60, one of my fastest phones in, the, in my arsenal, and all those phones are years old. So I say that to say this, sometimes new don't means better. People get caught up in the hype of new, new, new cameras. Well, my camera gonna be better than yours. And I say this and I will preach this until, I, until I'm in a grave, until I stop doing this tech stuff is that if you give a professional photographer a budget phone and you give a amateur photographer a high-end phone, nine times out of 10, that professional photographer will take a better shot with that budget phone compared to a amateur with a high-end phone. So make sure we understand that. Sometimes it's not the phones or not the product that give you the, the perfect shot. It's the individual. One of the reasons why you have issues with smartphones and people complain about issues with their devices and, it, it, uh, you know, like that is 90% of it is usually the, the individual fault, not the device. See, here's the thing. I see people complain on Twitter and Reddit about, oh, my phone is slow as a sludge. Oh, it's acting up. It's twitching. I need software updates for this and software update that. But they don't mention 
that they rooted the device. They unlocked the bootloader. They changed the ROM, and they they they, they don't mention that type of stuff. They don't mention that they they download APKs not from the app store but from online. They don't tell you that they run themes and, and all kinds of different things on their devices. They don't tell you that, but they tell you everything that's wrong with the phone. But they don't tell you what they did to cause that fault in that phone. They didn't tell you how they. Uh, you know, have they factor reset the device? Have they cleared their cash out? Have they consulted with the manufacturer about a replacement? Have they did warranty work? I mean, th- th- there's all kinds of different factors on why devices be- have issues. And so what you hear out there, you got to take some of the stuff with a grain of salt. And this is why we talk about it. A lot of that stuff here on this platform, because when we, dissect some of the issues that people proclaim they don't give you the full story and this is why you like wow so a lot of people ready to bash a company saying that your, your phones are trash this that the other based off of one or two individuals that's constantly posting stuff on Reddit, to constantly posting stuff on Twitter, constantly posting stuff on threads and Instagram about their issues back to back to back, but they didn't do anything to fix it. They didn't contact the manufacturer. They didn't do a, uh, they didn't send it back and stuff like that. Listen, man, when I had problems with my pixel phone, I documented, I show you guys the videos. I, I, I did what I had to do. I returned it and I got it back. But here's the thing about the Google pixel Four, right? Uh, in the Google Pixel 6 and, and, and some of the issues I had with the Pixel 7 as you as I made videos documenting my issues is that I wasn't the only one that have, have threads of thousands of people complaining about the sit about the same issue and again when I go back and I say well what have I done factory reset it I returned it uh, I've, I've done everything in my power uh, to fix it. And then when I got it in and I got some software updates, it's it was better, but not 100% better. We still have some heating issues. Uh, we still have some other issues. And then turn, when I got the Pixel 8 Pro, I find myself having a total 360 in uh and ex- what my experience with the Pixel 8 Pro. And again, I've documented by making videos, talking about it on live streams, talking about it on these podcasts, about my experience about devices. Again, no device is perfect, but we got to make sure that we do some type of preventive maintenance. We got to do something before we go out, we blast a company or blast a device about something that's bad about the phone. So I go back and I talk about how I'm Team LG. And I, I you got to give it up easy. They got better devices. Yes, I got the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Yes, I got the Pixel 4. Yes, I got the, 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 the Pixel 8 Pro. Yes, I have newer devices. I got the, the, the Z Folds and the, uh, you know, the one, I got the OnePlus 10 and all that stuff like that, right? So I got fairly new devices. But I go back to a phone that's one of my favorites. And when I talk about phones that my favorite, I didn't get caught up in the hype. Because listen, if I listen to the hype, that means that every year I will always be rocking the newer, ladies and greatest. Think about the how costly that is. Two to three times a year, you have devices that come out that's overhyped. The beginning of the year, you got Samsung. Then now you have the Pixel. Then you got Apple. Then you got Samsung again with the Fold. Then you have Google again. Then you have, now you got OnePlus. You have four to five major releases a year that cost upper tiers of over $1,000. The Fold's going to cost you almost $2,000. The, the Pixel's going to cost you almost $2,000. The the uh, the OnePlus Foldable's going to cost you about twelve dollars to $1,300 to $1,500. So you look at that, you know, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 of hype every year if you want to keep up with the Joneses. So when you think about setting your budget as a tech enthusiast of a YouTuber, I don't care who you are, of spending 
seven to ten thousand dollars on smartphones following hype every year. Listen, if you got the money to rock and roll with it, baby, do it. It's all good. But at what point that after 2023 over, you get into 2024, you buy, you spend 10 grand on devices, and then come 2025, you got to set your budget back to 10 grand buying more phones. Then you got to, it, it's, it's a roller coaster ride of you just continuously buying and buying and buying because of hype. Listen, man, I could pull out a phone, like I said, my LG V60. It gives me comfort because it's powerful. It's fast to me. The cameras are great to me. The dual display is great to me. When I plug in these high-end headphones, it gives me the best sound out of any smartphone besides the Sony phone. Let's talk about it. Sony phones also have a very good audio chain. Think about that. Out of 200 and something phones that I got in my arsenal, the best phone that gives me the best audio is one or two phones out of 230 phones. Two phones. Two phones give me the best audio. We And we talk about old phones. You know, I got the One Mark 3. I didn't get the 4 and I didn't get the 5. I got the One Mark 3. Great audio. Think about this. The best audio on a smartphone is a phone that's three years old. Everything else, people, well, don't get that. Get Bluetooth. Listen, man, as a audio guy myself, as you can see in the video and you can see what I do here on this YouTube channel, audio is very important to me, baby. Audio is very important to me. As you can see, audio is probably number one on my list besides, you know, video. And so when I'm listening to my music, when I'm listening to my audio and I'm driving high and peens headphones and I'm, I'm listening to it on the smartphone, I don't want Bluetooth. I want a plug in my in my smartphone so I can hear the lossless audio, the high impedance audio. I want to hear great audio. And no device out there that can satisfy my audio need as far as smartphones, but the LG V60. How could that be all Sony or my Sony One Mark III? And we talk about Sony One Mark III is again another two-year-old phone. So when you follow hype, you miss features. You, you you don't get the features that you had with the older devices. And I, well, you know, it's old, man. You got to keep up with the junk. Man, listen, man, let me tell you something. I follow hype for years. Hype cost me tens of thousands of dollars. Hype cost me tens of thousands of dollars. And so I find myself shifting more into having fun, believing in what I want to do, rocking devices that I want to do, regardless of what, what people say in the comments of, oh my God, you're making another LG video. It's already dead already. Why you just got to move on? I would never move on until I believe another device will satisfy me. Another device that will have the same capability that can beat everything, not this this performance, not this cameras. I'm talking about a device that's going to give me everything that the LG V60 going to give me. And you're like, well, they got phones out there that could beat the LG V60. Yes, of course. They got phones out there that could beat it in cameras. They got phones out there that could probably beat it in battery life. Yes. Yes, they got Z Folds out there if you want a foldable. Yes. Yes. If you want a headphone uh, jack, you just gotta buy a part. If you want, uh, uh, if you want um, SD card support, then you shit out of luck. Uh, if you want, <laughs> you know, it's so crazy, man. <laughs> and so, with all that said, you naming different phones to to give you one phone. If you want a fold, if you want a foldable with a dual screen, you got to get a Galaxy Fold, or you got to get the OnePlus Open, or you have to get a, a Surface Dual if you want the dual screen. But it's be it's missing headphone jacks. That means that you got to buy a part for that. Oh, the the Surface Dual, even though it's dual screen, the cameras are not that great. Oh, 
the battery life is going to suffer a little bit on the Z Fold. You might get it on the open, but it's going to be missing on the Z Fold. Oh, you don't get no SD card support on none of them. That means that you got to buy 512 gig or one terabyte. So all that costs money. And so you talk about, okay, after you buy this and buy that, buy this and buy that, you're into $2,000, $1,500, $2,000. And I could buy an LG V60 for 200 bucks, baby. 5G, this, that, and other. Pin support. Oh, I'm sorry. Not everything got pin support. So, oh, my God. Not everything got desktop mode. Oh, my God. They don't have wireless desktop mode. Things that I use on a daily basis. So, you know, you got, I always encourage people this. You know, you, you, you get caught up in the hype and, you know, you, you find yourself missing features. If you're okay with missing features, that's fine. But stick with what you like, man. And I will always encourage people. People always ask me the question, well, easy, should you upgrade? Should I upgrade? Oh, my God, new phones coming out. Black Friday coming out, this, that, and other. And I'll, my, my answer will always be the same. The device that you have in your pocket, is it working fine for you? It, it, does, it, does, do, does it do everything you want to do? Don't matter the company name. Don't matter how old it is. Does it do everything that you want it to do? And if the answer to that question is yes, nope, don't upgrade. Keep it. Rock it till the wheels fall off. Rock it till the wheels fall off, baby. It's nice to watch videos on all this new product. Yes, it's nice. Of course, we're going to continue to make videos about the new latest and greatest. But you don't never tell me to act, tell tell my viewers to go buy this. I never, I never tell my people it's a must upgrade. I never tell my, my viewers that. I know other YouTube content creators say, hey, it's a must upgrade. You must buy. You must buy this. It's time to upgrade. A lot of people say, well, oh, after two years, you got to upgrade your phones and shit every two years. Fuck all that, man. You don't have to upgrade your phones every two years. Whoever came up with the method that you got to upgrade your phone every two years. Rock that son bitch until the wheels fall off. If you roll it for four years, of, listen, I've seen iPhone 8s out there. I've seen iPhone 10s. Fucking people rocking stuff till the wheels fall off. Whoever came up with the sentiment that you have to upgrade every two years? Whoever told anybody that if you don't upgrade every two years that you're a peasant, that you broke, that you low class on the toilet pole, you're not a tech enthusiast, you don't know what you're talking about? Whoever came up with that? Whoever came up with that sentiment that you have to upgrade your phone every year every two years fuck all that you know how costly that is you know how much money you got to spend even if you trade it in you still lose money if you listen man the trading shit is sometimes a gimme you got you can't don't fall for that bullshit sometimes you think about this right you trade in the phone you pay fifteen hundred dollars for you they give you eight for it <laughs> what the fuck man you know how much money you lost <laughs> you know Listen, man, I'm going to continue to keep it real no matter what, baby. Oh, but we got to get out of here, baby. Oh, we going to get out of here, baby. Another episode of the Tech Preacher Pocket. Boy, that bad happened. I'll go fast, huh? <laughs> Listen, baby, I'm going to keep it real no matter what. Black Friday coming out. Listen, man, we're going to keep it real, baby. We're going to talk about sales and deals. If you're ready to, to, to jump into something, hey, man, we're going to keep it real. We're going to keep it 100 here. Uncut, baby. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't like this uncut. But you know what? I'm going to keep this shit real no matter what. I'm going to keep it real no matter what. Follow me on Spotify, TikTok, right here. We go, listen, follow the tech preacher, baby. We go preach about tech. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to save you some money. That's right. Think about it. My, my daily drive is a Universe Tank fucking uh, uh, Pixel 8 Pro and an LG V60. Think about that, right? <laughs> wow. What? Ain't no Galaxy involved with none of that, right? There it is, baby. We out of here, baby. See you next week. Same bat place, same bat time, baby. All right. Ooh. Oh, I talk so much, baby. Ooh. Yes. Thank y'all, guys. I will see y'all next week. Later.